guys, so today we are checking out the brand new Oppo Reno 5 5G. The Oppo Reno series has always been about its photography capabilities, but this time, in addition to some photography features, I was also intrigued by its videography features, especially one called the AI Highlight Video, which uses AI algorithm and makes a huge difference to your video experience. So let's dive into the main spotlight of the Oppo Reno 5 5G, the AI Highlight Video. So the AI Highlight Video is actually made out of two different modes, Ultra Night Video and Live HDR Video. And depending on your environment, the Reno 5 5G will automatically switch between these two modes to optimize your video. For example, you can use the AI Highlight Video during the day when you're under the scorching sun or use it during the night for indoor parties, night sceneries or even during dark karaoke sessions. For this mode, I found the difference more apparent during the day. You can tell that the video is not as overexposed when the live HDR video is switched on, especially when we are using the front camera. The difference for ultra night video is not too obvious. You do get slightly more details and some scenes will appear a tad brighter. So for those who don't know, the Oppo Reno 5 5G's tagline is Picture Life Together. And there's one particular feature for this called the Dual View Video. You can easily shoot with your friends and you get to choose between three different layouts. Using this feature on the rear camera looks fine, but on the front camera it tends to overexpose easily so you gotta pick your spots to shoot. And now the portrait beautification video that detects 194 facial feature points. This mode is a lifesaver. You get to adjust a lot of different features and even add makeup to your face. If you don't go overboard with the adjustments, no one will be able to tell that you are using the beauty mode. On top of that, Oppo also introduced the Ultra Steady Video 3.0 that now comes with a pro mode that applies to its ultra wide angle camera. Plus, you can also turn this mode on when you're using the 32 megapixel front camera. You can really see the differences in these videos. It's much better once you turn on the ultra steady mode. Not only are the videography features of the Reno 5 5G impressive, but the Reno 5 5G's cameras are also prominent. We've got a 64 megapixel main camera, an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera, a 2 megapixel macro lens, and another 2 megapixel mono lens. Daytime shots are nice and bright, colors are really vibrant, and we get a fair amount of details. Ultra wide shots are just as good, but its colors are slightly less saturated, which I personally prefer. One thing Oppo added in its camera system is what they call Image Clear Engine that combines high frame shooting with subject detection and focus tracking. So even if you're capturing a moving person, photos turn out clear. I'm also quite impressed with the Reno 5 5G's night shots. With the ultra night mode turned on, this phone accurately tones down overexposed areas, sharpens the image and brings back details. There's also the neon portrait filter which is similar to the Reno 4's night flare portrait. It's a cool feature but somehow the image quality drops drastically so that's one thing I wish was better. Apart from its cameras, Oppo also made sure that this is a future-proof phone. So as suggested by its name, it comes with 5G connectivity. And even though most areas don't have 5G yet, at least we know when it's ready, you can enjoy faster connectivity on the Reno5 5G. ColorOS 11.1 also offers lots of customization. For example, the intensity of dark mode changes according to the brightness of the phone and you can also adjust it in the settings. And if you want to use the always-on display, you can change a bunch of things via settings. The Reno5 5G also makes a good gaming phone. With 8GB of RAM, 128GB of storage and a Snapdragon 765G chip, this phone can easily handle games like PUBG and Call of Duty Mobile even if you max the settings. Gameplay is smooth and the phone doesn't overheat quickly even when I game for an extensive period of time. It's not just gaming. Browsing and scrolling on the Reno5 5G also feels great thanks to its 90Hz screen. Its 6.43 inch OLED display comes with HDR10 Plus certification and so far my Netflix experience has been pleasant. Colors are vibrant, contrast is better than before and it also has good viewing angles. 
Like most phones these days, the Reno5 5G has a hefty 4300mAh battery. The impressive thing is, Oppo upgraded its fast charging support, so now this phone comes with 65W Super Vogue 2.0, just like the flagship Find X series. I only need 15 minutes to get it to more than half of its battery life, and a total of 35 minutes for a full charge. With all these additional features and upgrades, the Reno5 5G is priced at 1899 ringgit, and I think it's a great mid-ranger for those who love photography and videography, especially if you do a lot of vlogs. It's not just because of its camera features, but it's also because it's a decent device overall, no matter its performance, battery life, or even display. So if you're interested in getting yourself the Oppo Reno5 5G, its first sale has already started and will end by January 31st. You can get the Reno5 5G at My Oppo Space, Oppo Brand Stores, Oppo's official online store, e-commerce partners, and Oppo's chain store partners. So that's it for our video today. If you already own an Oppo Reno5 5G, do share your experience with us in the comment section down below. As usual, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, KLGT TV, and I'll see you in the next one.